Good morning, long time no vlog. I actually did film a vlog about two weeks ago, I think it was now, and I really thought I'd got over my tired face, so I started vlogging and like the vlog was just so choppy because I was just sleeping every day. <laughs> But anyway, I'm back attempting another vlog. I love to vlog. I don't know, I've just really lost my confidence. and I've got Vlogmas coming back, so I need to get used to the filming. Anyway, it's currently Friday morning. Um, the time is 7 a.m., but the little girl downstairs is screaming and running around, so if you can hear that, I do apologize. <laughs> just in case you can hear it and it sounds like, what the hell is happening? It sounds like someone is in trouble it's not she's playing so plan for today i am gonna go out and get some breakfast because there's something that i really want for breakfast and i need to go over lakeside i want to do some baby boy shopping because there's two reasons actually i was first of all doing no spend october so i didn't want to buy anything then and b the baby neutral clothes weren't cutting it for me and i really didn't want to buy a load of neutral stuff i'd rather have waited until i knew the sex of my child now i know i'm having a little boy i want to go on a little shopping spree i did actually last night order some things off vintage as well i've also got my boyfriend to give me some money and i was like i feel bad now that i'm going shopping without you he was like it's fine as long as you buy some dungarees <laughs> He just loves the little dungarees. He just thinks they're so cute. And I've seen so much cute stuff out. And some places already have their Black Friday sales. So I'm just going to have a banana for now. And then I'm going to get ready. I'm going to put some makeup on. Because guys, the spots around my chin area are really getting me down. <laughs> it's the worst skin i've had in years and obviously i know why yeah it's just really affecting me and normally like when i have spots i really don't care but because it's been constant and they're just like every every time one starts to go another two appear so i am going to put some makeup on just because i want to oh also i have a money box each year i always break it for an occasion of some sort so i want to put some towards buying some baby bits some towards christmas presents and spending money for Prague. So I'm gonna smash that today. I'm gonna do that before we go out so that when I go out, I can just buy everything in cash and it will feel like I'm not actually spending anything. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this, jump in the shower, wash my tan off and get ready. So I've showered, I'm gonna do my makeup and I thought I would share with you, I feel like I've shared this before, maybe once. <laughs> I think that's focused, but here's a better view of my skin. <laughs> this is a new one here. It's ridiculous. I don't wanna be on camera at all without makeup, which is just very, unlike me if you've watched me for years then you know that i'm very comfortable in my own skin but obviously pregnancy has given me love in another part of my body <laughs> aka my belly and has taken away love from my face so i use this which is dr jart color corrector this is what i wear on every single youtube video and it's green and this is the smaller pot by the way 15 mil so it's not that expensive really so it's green get a bit out using <laughs> any tool i can not very hygienic but hey hi probably why i'm getting this and no, it's not it's because i'm pregnant warm it up a bit in my fingers then just press it onto my face when it warms up it changes color sorry the lighting is really shit but that's what it looks like so it's got really good coverage and it's so breathable like for day to day not okay it hasn't got really good coverage it evens out the redness and that is all i care about especially because i'm so pale i have fake hand because i'm out tomorrow that's what i've been doing and then i'll just bronze up put a bit of brow gel through my brows and then that'll be it really like 15 minute makeup and then we need to head to lakeside so i'm gonna finish getting ready i'm currently listening to nip tuck this podcast absolutely love it so anyway i will be back once i'm actually ready and out the door i am ready i'm about to leave i nearly forgot I need my spending money for today. Excuse the mess in my living room. I'm doing a TikTok as well, so um, bear with me. I always have a smash money box on the go. And I think the last time I smashed one was over a year ago. I can't really remember to be fair, but it's that time of year where I need to buy presents. I'm going to Prague, so I need spending money. I also now know the gender of my baby, so I wanna go out and buy some baby boy clothes. So it's time to smash my money box see what's inside let's hope it's a lot because you know i've got a lot of plans <laughs> put it in a bin bag so that the broken bits of clay don't go everywhere probably should be wearing protective goggles for this hopefully you can't see up my dress either make your guess how much you think's inside actually you probably want to see what it looks like god i don't even know my own strength 
Oh no, it's literally going everywhere. What was the point of me putting it in the freaking thing? <sighs> Keep it coming, baby. How much do you guys think is inside? Excuse the fact I've put it under the hammer, but in here I had £647. I'm going to take the coins into the bank. Oh yeah, I'm going to need a purse. Also, I need to hurry up. I'm 20 minutes behind schedule because I went lakeside yesterday only to get my eyebrows done and I couldn't get a parking space. I do have, which really I should sell this, a mulberry purse. It's in perfect condition. Like I've barely used it because after I got this, I got a card reader. My bags are always too small for a purse. But anyway, let's go because I'm also hungry and I want breakfast. <laughs> As you would have seen, I've just been to prep. I also went to my bank, first of all, to put the money in. Not all of it, I just wanted a certain amount that I wanted to put away for Prague. I counted one bag of coins wrong, and I counted my notes wrong. Only by a tenner and by a three pound in the coins. I was like, sorry love, that's a baby brain. Yeah, so anyway, I've been to prep. My belly is absolutely rumbling now, and I've got dry mouth. But this was the start of the show for me last year, and it is the Pigs in Blanket Hot Roll, which comes with pork cocktail sausages wrapped in bacon, Bacon, onion chutney and mustard mayo this better be as good as last year because i've been thinking about it since last year and i also got their salted caramel latte but i got it skinny with no cream probably it's not going to taste as good as the proper one also i'm parked in the house of fraser car park that i'm convinced is the one that where the cars get stolen but it was the most convenient for me <laughs> Because when I go other places after, it's a good place to pull out from. When I just walked back through then, I was like, it makes sense because we've got Range Rover, Porsche, like a big, what is it called? 4x4 Porsche, Q5, Mini, a GLA. And that's why I said I think my car would be okay. Watch my car get stolen in this video now. But if they're going to steal anyone's car, it's going to be one of them bad boys. Oh, I think when I had it before, I had five. So you've gone down a pig's in blanket. But that's what it looks like inside. I'm so excited for this and it's going to go everywhere. And to think I once hated a Herbie sausage. And I was supposed to be getting this tomorrow morning with my boyfriend, but he's working tomorrow morning now. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself and go on a single date in my car on my own today. I don't think I've ever had a roll that's had such a perfect crunch. It's crunchy, but not too crunchy. Like, it's perfect. Let's try the salted caramel. That is gorgeous. Am I getting salted? No, never do. Never, ever do. <laughs> but tastes delightful. Anyway, I will see you in a bit. I purposely wore tights today so I could come and try on boots. Oh, and I wanted to get leather ones, but these make... You probably can't see, but they make the bottom of my legs look so chunky. Can you see them better here? Probably not. I think I'll just keep to my suede. Again, I don't know if you can really see, but I also wanted to get another pair of these like short boots because my ones are a bit old now. But I also like these ones. Just don't know if they're too chunky. I'm already tall enough. These ones definitely look better. I'm picking my friends up tomorrow to take them to the brunch. Obviously, I'm going to the brunch as well. So I thought I'd pick them up a little can. And look, they've got new packaging. But they don't have my favourite. So hopefully by the time I give birth, they bring it back. But I'm just going to get them one of these because everyone likes these, right? M&S, they've done it all up in here now. They have a dispenser so you can try the alcohol-free wine. And then I'm going to get myself a bottle of this because their alcohol-free rosé is the nicest one I've tried so far. So I thought I might as well just get it whilst I'm here. This is the first little thing that I wanted to pick up. I just don't know about sizes, what to get. They've got newborn up to one month, three to six. I'm going to get that up to one month in this just because it's the short sleeve. If they had zero to three i'd probably get that i'm praying that they have this next year even though my friend did try this on for a little boy and she said the hat was too big i'm being funny zero to three months look at the size of that that probably fit my head and my head's big but i just can't deal how cute is it they've also got the elf one just love it oh my god i think this is so cute with the little jumper look with the little cargo in my next at lakeside they've got this jojo maman baby <laughs> Anyway, when I really thought I was having a go, I got my heart set on this little suit. It's so cute. The boys' one isn't as cute. Let me show you it. I've got the unisex one, which is the ducks, but the boys' one, it is cute, but I just don't think the collar's as cute. Like, the girls' one has a ribbon around it. That was 
semi fell. I didn't get anything for my secret Santa. I said in another video we're doing a um, hundred pound secret Santa. Like we're all just gonna get one person each because there's so many of us. And yeah, I didn't get anything off my list. I did go into two places, but they didn't have good enough deals. And one of them I saw was actually cheaper on the Boots website. So I thought I'd rather order it on the website. And obviously you saw, I bought that Prosecco. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Because my back feels like it's gonna break off. And also it's nearly 12 o'clock already. Sorry about the lighting. And I still wanna go Matalan. I did ideally wanna go to Ikea. And like I need to eat, I've already eaten out. So I don't wanna eat out for lunch. And you know, as a pregnant galley, you need to eat on time. You need to eat on time or you don't feel so great. Oh, we've got three cars here in uh, two lanes. I despise this roundabout more than I despise anything. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm gonna go mummies and puppies now because they have got their 25% off started already. I love these little suits, so cute. They've got both the things that I wanted to get. So this little two piece and this one. I'm finished in Mamas and Papas. I am now going to Matalan. And that is, oh no, it's not. I do need to go Ikea. It's literally for storage boxes because I need to start getting rid of clothes. I need to vintage them. I need to throw them. I need to clear the hell out. I feel like without that, I'm not gonna get much done. So let's just hurry up because I am tired and hungry. What's the time? This is the best selection of stuff I've seen. I've picked up this. I'm obsessed. I want to buy it in like a few different sizes. I've also picked up this. I'll do a haul when I get home, but just in case you're interested in having a baby boy too, which is highly likely because everyone's having boys at the moment. I'm home. It's now half past two. <laughs> I ended up spending nearly 50 pounds on storage in Ikea. Like storage in there is not cheap and I didn't really check and then when it was going through I thought oh my god if I knew it was this much I wouldn't have bought it from here because you get storage boxes in the range and stuff and they're definitely not a 10 out of box I don't think anyway I've got it now <laughs> so I've just got in I literally had to have something to eat something to drink laid here on the sofa staring into space for the last 20 minutes did a haul to my boyfriend I will do a haul of what I've got but I'm just gonna relax for a little bit sort my brain out I did a Aldi new in video and I tried these um like Nutella croissants so I'm just gonna heat one up for my something sweet now I'll let you guys know if if it's better heated these are what i'm talking about in case you didn't see that video i don't know how but i burnt not one but two of them the first one was literally burnt to a crisp and this one is hopefully salvageable i'm gonna have to eat this one now and that literally burnt in 30 seconds because i looked at it and i thought put it on for another 30 seconds so annoying anyway let's try it probably burn my mouth now it just tastes charcoal unfortunately I mean, if it didn't taste burnt, I'm sure it would be nice. I'm just going to do a quick baby haul. So apologies if um, you're not interested in seeing any baby stuff. You can skip this next bit, but I'll show you what I've got today and then the couple of bits that I had already got. As I said, I hadn't really bought a lot, so it won't take me long. And I think I've shown you pretty much everything today, so I won't go into it too much. But first thing I got, I've got my little light on because it's a bit dark, but then it kind of washes clothes out. First thing I got is a three-pack of of zipped sleep suits these were from next and we have beige light gray and dark gray i need to make a list of what i've got so that i don't overbuy certain age groups and also i'm just gonna say to like family and friends about buying any baby stuff that if they are planning on buying me any clothes just to buy me like the basics because i'm very specific with things that i like like, I can't explain it because you could buy me one dungaree set and I'd love it. And then the next dungaree set that looks pretty much similar, I may hate and it may just be down to a button or <laughs> something. I'm just, I'm just so picky and it's ungrateful, I know, but that's me. So next thing I got in next, I will also just say, I always feel like I have to give disclaimers because otherwise you get people in the comments like, you don't need to buy this, you don't need to buy this. I know I don't, it's my first child and I'm excited to buy it. So please let me live. And I'm also going to be buying a load of the actual essentials, you know. But I'm just excited because obviously I just found out that I'm having a little boy. So I want to buy him some things. Right, next set, which did I show you? I think I did. This was from Next. And I like this because it's different colouring. So we've got the little beige 
beige jumper with the little cargo, sorry this lighting is doing my head in, with the little cargo trousers, little dungaree set. Let me turn the light off and see if it's better to show you. Even though it doesn't look like it's better, it's gonna be easier for me to show you clothes. So this is what I got in Matalan. I'm obsessed with this. I got this in a bigger size because I feel like it'd probably be a bit uncomfortable to put something like this on a small baby. And obviously I've got a summer baby, so this will be in winter. I kind of wanna get this in a few sizes because I've said, I said to my boyfriend how cute would this look on his little first birthday and this is a three piece i then got this little two piece it's got little buttons up the back which i thought was really cute i picked up this i got this in newborn i just thought this was really cute this was actually sold out online but they had this in store and it was so cute obviously i got that in a smaller size because hopefully it'll be hot in summer this is the final piece from matalan Again, just a little cute two-piece. The next bits are from Mamas and Papas, which I know they're expensive, but me and my boyfriend really love these little outfits. Um, so again, we got them in bigger sizes and they have 25% um, off at the moment. This is a little two-piece set. They're the little knitted bottoms. And this, look at it. Oh, so cute. Love it. And then I was actually a bit annoyed at this because obviously i just got that little knitted one this one is much better quality um but it was double the price even with the discount um but we've got these little bottoms and this little polo final thing i picked up today was from m s which i showed you anyway and this is um a little four piece set just love the simplicity of that next thing i bought this piece was the first thing that i bought him and when I was looking at baby clothes before I knew the gender, I was like, I need this in my life. It was actually a different one, but that one was sold out. But they're basically the same. But I did actually end up ordering the original one that I wanted off Vinted. And it says it's never been worn, only washed. And I got it for £4. Let me show you up close. Just love this so much. I feel like this will be one of the little things that I keep in a memory box. To be fair, I'll probably keep all of these clothes until... I'm done with having babies, you know what I mean? Because I just think I'm going to be a baby boy machine. And I don't know why I ever thought it'd be a girl because I've only got brothers and my boyfriend's only got brothers. So the chances of us having boys is high. Now this one you would have seen because I used it in my pregnancy announcement. This is from Primark and it's just got little stars and moons. This one I absolutely love. I'm not the biggest lover of Disney stuff. To be fair, some of it I am. Like I saw one in Matalan today, but I already had my hands full. But it had like black Mickey Mouse on, it was white. But anyway, this is from Tesco. It's so soft, it says 101% sleepy. It's such good quality as well. And it also comes with a matching bib. And again, you would have already seen this one because it was in my pregnancy announcement. And this is from Mamas and Papas. This was the first thing that we ever bought him, ever, ever when we just found out and I was thinking god I hope I don't see anyone in here and it's just got the little clouds on it with the matching there you go right I'm now going to run down and we are going to start sorting through my clothes the clean out is commencing this is two out of four boxes that are under my bed and I do have a load more in the loft but I'm really trying to be brutal here. I want to hopefully get rid of 75% of this. Okay, we have a box of summer clothes for the loft. I've rejigged around a box that needs to go back under my bed. This one isn't completely filled yet. This is stuff that I'm probably not going to wear. I probably should just sell, but I'm unsure about, so I'm not going to sell at the minute. <laughs> then we have a pile for the bin a pile for vintage and that is hungry work so <laughs> organizing is one thing but then you know you just start this whirlwind of stuff that you need to do so i'm gonna take a dinner break last night we had chili con carne for dinner so i'm gonna have that on a jacket potato for dinner now because we have a little bit left over see i wish i didn't put this off for two hours now because it's dark outside and like I can't take pictures to put things on vintage so now I need to put them all somewhere to do it tomorrow and I probably won't do it tomorrow because I'm out early so here's my dinner just waiting for my cheese to melt and I'm gonna watch Billy and Greg and then I will get back to sorting my life out I have literally just sat down it is nine o'clock 
and I had to force myself. I've just done my fake tan. I have made a bowl of crunchy nuts and I'm about to watch the Big Brother final. I will give you an update of what I did. I'm just so tired now. I'm literally gonna watch this and go to bed. Now I'm thinking it's gonna be on for ages, isn't it? But I will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. I say morning, it's currently 10. Well, okay, it's still morning. <laughs> but I've been up for ages. I've been up since seven. I've washed my hair, washed my tan off, finished tidying, ironed my blazer for today. I'm about to try something new on my eyebrows. So this is the Eyelaw Dye Brow. And I've always used that peel off one, but it doesn't last. So I thought I would try something that says it lasts up to six weeks which could be scary if I do it wrong. Can I be bothered to read instructions? Absolutely not. Do I need to? Absolutely, yes I do. I'm so annoyed that I was up so early this morning. I've been waking up early and then being able to go back to sleep till a bit later, but not today. Okay, let me read what I need to do and then we'll give it a go. It seems fairly straightforward, but I am gonna wing it with how much product to use. So you basically just use a blob of these two tubes, well that's just popped out i hope this is going to be dark enough it looks very light and the skin is skinning today but not in a good way in the worst way just gonna mix the two together i've just realized how am i gonna get this product god i hope you can still dye your eyes when you're pregnant eyes eyebrows can you oh don't no just as keep out of reach children first mistake is i've mixed it inside of this and now i'm not going to be able to get it on the spoolie so that is great. I'm just getting a random eye brush and I'm gonna brush it onto that because it says don't get on your skin just on the eyebrow hair. God, I'm such a novice. Anyway, guys, I'm literally just gonna brush this on, leave it for 15 minutes or however long it says, 10 minutes. And then I will show you the results. They're looking quite good. I'm gonna leave them on for another five minutes because they definitely could do with being a bit darker. But I'm gonna start making my breakfast because I need to hurry up now. I'm gonna have porridge with my fave i will show you and i need a coffee and a nap actually <laughs> i've made my porridge i've added a bit of banana and i've told you about these before these are one of the best things ever you like peanut butter on your porridge put these on and they melt and oh my god it is amazing oh how good does that look and obviously there is peanut butter in there <laughs> somewhere eyebrows are definitely not dark enough unfortunately this one looks darker than that one very slightly but um i reckon i probably didn't put enough color in it but for my first go it's okay guess what i'm in a rush and i feel like an egghead but i wanted to put my hair in a bow but it was too freshly washed i need to run i'm already like three minutes late and i can't deal with being late so bye i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm totally over mocktails at this point that virgin porn star was one of the sweetest things that's ever entered my mouth anyway for starters i had calamari and then for main i had the chicken milanese it was okay and then this is the birthday girl having the time of her life as you can see i'm home i'm just gonna make myself a bagel thin and then i'm gonna get straight into bed i'm tired i'm hungry <sighs> but that was like my first proper time out in england obviously i went to my bayer but since i've been pregnant and it was actually okay i actually really enjoyed it it's so nice to go out and be sober and then come home and drive yourself home <laughs> feel good apart from being tired and wake up hangover free hangover free hungover free good night and that is the end of the vlog i'm gonna wrap the vlog up here i did plan on vlogging the next day as well even though i wasn't doing much anyway but even though i was looking forward to no hangover i felt like i had a hangover i was obviously just so tired because i was out from half past one i think it was so yeah i thought i could cut it but clearly i couldn't so i was just shattered the next day so nothing interesting to vlog so yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up here i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one